This is Kim Wenz from the Palo Alto Networks community team bringing you a Palo Alto Networks video tutorial. In today's tutorial, I will cover a new feature of PanOS 7.1. This new feature adds the ability to force an administrator to accept the login banner before logging into a system. It allows administrators to add a logon message and allows Palo Alto Networks to add messages. In addition, it allows administrators to add customized banners at the top and bottom of every web UI page. So let's move forward to our device. So the first time you log in after upgrading your device to PanOS 7.1, you will immediately see the uh, welcome message uh, giving you a list of all the new features we have added. You have the option to not show this message again, but we'll leave it for now. Just close this message. As I said earlier in the introduction, uh, with this new software version, you can force administrators to acknowledge a checkbox on the login screen before logging in. This setting is configured under the Device tab, Setup, Management, and just click the Edit, edit button right here to change the configuration. Just add any login banner you want. And check the checkbox Force Admins to Acknowledge Login Banner. Click OK. I will show you the outcome of this configuration change later on in this video. This new software version also allows you to add banners and messages. These are configured under the Device tab, Setup, and then here on the right side you see Banners and Messages. Just click the Edit button or the Edit icon to change the configuration. Add any message of the day uh, message you would like to add. You can uh, add the possibility to not show this message again for future use. You can add a separate title. And you can even add background colors or, and or an icon. In addition, you can add header banners and footer banners that will uh, be displayed on every web UI page uh, of the firewall. By default, the header and the footer banner are the same, but you can add different banners by unchecking this checkbox. You can add some fancy coloring, so add some blue and lime, some blue and lime, there we go. Now that this is done, don't forget to commit your configuration changes. All done, and let's log out to see what the outcome is of this configuration change. Let's try to log in again. Notice that I am unable to click the login button. Before I can do that, I need to acknowledge this login message right here. This enables the login button, and now I am able to log into the firewall. Notice that I am still seeing the welcome message that I saw earlier. Let's just Click the do not show uh, again. So next time we log in, we will not see this message again. We do see, however, that there is a second button right here where we can see the additional message that we added in the configuration. Also with the option to not show this message again. Let's leave that for now. Notice the header banner and the footer banner. And notice how they are visible on all the pages of the web UI.
This concludes my video for today. Feel free to leave any comments or questions in the comments section below. Bye.